again we are in this morning here together to, us, to celebrate, to praise and thank God. Let us praise God together in this celebration. And in today's Mass, let us remember in a special way the deceased members of the Jolly, Laverette, and Grandier families. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrary of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy for all those who have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Grow Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. of the Lord. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city that is bound firmly together. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. As was decreed for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there the thrones of for judgment were set up, the thrones of the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Whoever keeps the word of Christ grows perfect in the love of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to the disciples, There was a rich man who had a manager and charges were brought to him that this man was squandering his property. So the rich man summoned the manager and said to him, What is this that I hear about you? Give me the accounting of your management because you cannot be my manager any longer. Then the manager said to himself, What will I do now that my master is taking the position away from me? I am not strong enough to dig and I am ashamed to beg. I have decided what to do so that when I am dismissed as manager, people may welcome me into their homes. So summoning his master's debtors one by one, he asked the first, how much do you owe my master? He answered, a hundred jets of olive oil. He said to him, take your bill, sit down quickly and make it fifty. Then he asked another, and how much do you owe? He replied, a hundred containers of wheat. He said to him, take your bill and make it eighty. And his master commended the dishonest manager because he had acted shrewdly. For the children of this age are more true in dealing with their own generation than are the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The last two sentence of today's Gospel is, is a point of our reflection. The children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. What does this tell us? It certainly does not tell us that we should enter into a worldly life, life striving to live by worldly standards and working towards worldly goals. In fact, by acknowledging this fact about the worldly, Jesus is presenting us with a strong contrast as to how we should think and act. We are called to be children of light. Therefore, we should not be surprised at all if we are not as successful in worldly, worldly things as others are who are immersed in the secular culture. If we compare that to those who are filled with virtue, humility, and goodness, we often find that they go unnoticed. So what should we do? We should use this parable to remind ourselves that all that matters in the end is what God thinks. How does God see us and the effort we give in living a holy life? As children of light, we must work only for that which is eternal, not for that which is worldly and passing. God will provide for our worldly needs if we put our trust in Him. Now the master put in the, the parable, the master could not but praise this word for his uh, astuteness. Jesus implies that the children of light, his own followers, have something to learn from this man of the world. We need to put the same ingenuity 
into serving the Lord as this two words put into looking out of himself. This two words act decisively in a moment of crisis. We need to do the same in the living out of our faith. Now, we live in a moment of crisis in terms of our, uh, in terms of our faith. That means this, because of this coronavirus, there are so much of crises uh, and internal difficulties. We need all these skills and gifts, the gifts of the Lord, which has given right to us to respond to this crisis. It is a time to be proactive and not to sit back in a spirit of dependency. So if we do with uh, what only we can do, the Lord will work through us in ways that will always surprise us. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, the fruit of the earth, and what your human has, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of the human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Let be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and words may be acceptable to God, your mighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands, to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, dedicated to your name, purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy. Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the Lord of all holiness. May holy for these gifts be prayed by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of it, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of
the mystery of faith. When we eat bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis and our Bishop Christian and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, for we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, for God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to speak. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant that peace and unity in accordance with your will will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who want to be suffer of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Glory of Christ. Amen.
I did not receive the whole stage. Just fuzz. I just explained that to you. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I deserve to receive you to my spot. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually to my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such a great gift, we may gain the price of salvation and never cease to pray, praise you, O Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. I am with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. Please, uh, first Friday, as usual, we have the whole day adoration from now to uh, uh, evening at 6 uh, p.m. So at any time, you can come and uh, be with Jesus for a while. Thank you. 